Mother's Love The passions of the dead can be vast and mighty, but we are not all powerful. There are things I can never see. There are things I can never touch. There are things I can never overpower. Because of that, there are many things I can never protect my children who birthed me from. Because of that, oftentimes they die in bitterness and pain. Because of that, their deaths can also birth hates, large and small. Hates are things I can see and touch. I must see and touch them because my children who birth me cannot. I must protect my children who birth me where I can. Just as my strange brethren are driven to curse them. I do not have the power to unmake hates. The best I can do is bind them to a seal made from things that my children who birth me can see and touch. The truth of our nature is all we have and are, and denial of that truth is denial of our power. But more importantly, my children who birth me can guard themselves against what they can see and touch. The form of a ladybird beetle or butterfly is a fine seal for small hates, and a seal of that size is easy for me to reduce the power of their curses to almost nothing. The larger seals needed to, to hold larger hates are more difficult. A hate sealed as a cat can still cause sickness and misfortune. Then there are vast hates, birthed from wars and plagues, that kill together many of my children who birthed me. There are few loves vast enough to deny the truth of their nature. But I have tried once. It was a hate birthed out of the smoldering rage in the hearts of so many who died knowing that their bodies would be burned together in a pit of pestilence and enormity. I rarely call upon the power of the light that brings life to create a seal, but there is little choice against a hate natured so strongly of death. The weakest part of any seal is always in the eyes because they are the windows to the soul. My children who birthed me only believed in that as a concept, but concepts are far more real to the brethren, whether they are strange or not. And I then, what my children who birthed me, would think me of, of as concrete. To line up the windows is to make an open path between the soul and the most vile curse a sealed hate can still inflict. I used every method I knew to reinforce the seal's eyes, but even then I could not stop it from settling a cause of death in anyone it met gazes with. My blessing could only delay the curse's full effects for a single cycle around the light that brings life. My misguided children, why did you take its eyes?